there's that thing friends for a season and friends for a reason mm. and both of those things are small representations of mustard seeds because there are friends that i had that i don't even have them anymore in my life but in the short time that we were friends i learned so many things that i didn't know i was learning but now when i look back i'm like yo <laughs> bro, i actually learned a b and c i learned patience mm. i learned how to deal with certain types of people through the seed that this person planted maybe mm -hmm. a good seed or a bad seed but mm -hmm. through that i learned something you know most of uh, most of the relationship you guys had was just doing good stuff good things for you and then one day you do a bad thing hey mm -hmm. that guy ah red flag red flag but you forget everything all the good that he did for you it's That's true funny. man Come on, you know, enjoy my birthday, mm. vibes on vibes. You know, hey, bro, hey, this guy went to Valencia for his birthday. Bro, you should have come, you should have came, bro. That was the other one, you know, so the snacks on the bread. He was late, he was late. Definitely, from now on, I want to have my birthday, like, when I, when it's my birthday, I'm going to travel. Because mm. you, when you, if you think it like this, if you have your party here, normally it's just one day or like, evening but when you travel with your friend for two three days yeah all those three days you're just enjoying your birthday with your friends yeah true so it makes it less longer yeah so yeah, definitely true. i had fun bro valencia is a city i've been there before it's vibes on vibes i went there nice restaurants beach mm. now nah, my boy next don't worry next year we're going we up yeah now for sure like for my birthday hey guys go in the comment section and try to yeah, I'd, I'd give us an advice of a, a nice place to yeah. actually. Anywhere in the world that you feel is actually quite lit, and we'll go there and we'll vlog it and we yeah. just thank you to say, yo, bro, your suggestion was hard. Yeah, but yeah, man, you know what's the craziest thing? Like um, when you're when you're out for your birthday, um, I stayed, put a maker that had um, some other things that I had to attend to. But he had the time, he did your thing. But you know, I was actually thinking about the small things that impact our lives that we never knew were going to impact our lives. We had to put it that way. Mm. Because, for instance, um, there's a saying, like, what's going on? Okay, not a saying, but it's a Bible verse, I believe, in the book of Matthew, where um, Jesus was basically saying, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, will be able to move mountains. I'm paraphrasing. And mustard seed thinking is something that I've really been diving into these past uh, few I weeks. I've heard about that before. Mustard mm -hmm. seed. Yeah. It's, 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 it's something so peculiar because the name is Sunday, the mustard seed. Mm -hmm. But I think the reason why, of course, in the Bible, why it was referenced is because a mustard seed is tiny. It's honestly tiny. But the reference that Jesus was making that if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, meaning like if, even if your faith is tinier than a seed that may look like won't do anything, mm -hmm. it can still move mountains. And when you look at it in our normal lives, there are so many mustard seeds that were planted in our lives that we never knew that today is helping us do great things. Great things. Yeah. That's the craziest thing. No, that, that's true, man. Like, like hearing you speak about that, yeah, it's true. It's true. Man. Because at the end of the day, like when you when you think about it in the sense of the small things that happen, like for instance, like just going through that class in school. Yeah, going to that class, that specific person that was part of your life that taught you some specific things. And nowadays, you just look back and be like, if I didn't experience that thing, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. I wouldn't have the knowledge that I have today like the small things so like i heard about that thing about mustard seed before i don't know if it was you when you were, when you were having a normal conversations or if i read it like somewhere but yeah that this just shows that like the tiny a, t a tiny action can actually like change someone someone's life for the better or for the worst 
Because I think that you can use it for both ways. Yeah, true. true. You know, because that is that is some uh, 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 like I saw a video of a guy that he was like eight or, or nine, okay. and his teacher in school told him like something like this: "You're never gonna be anyone in life." And in his life, he's thirty years old, and he like t like during his whole life, that same thing that his teacher told him actually uh, affect the way uh, affect his decision during his whole life. So you see. Like the must see thing can be used for both for the for both sides, bad and, mm. and good. But for us, we are more thinking about how we actually help ourselves in a good way. Yeah, true, true. Because it's those small seeds that can germinate into anything. Because you know, like for instance, like for me, there's that thing: friends for a season and friends for a reason. Mm. And both of those things are small representations of mustard seeds because there are friends that I had that I don't even have them anymore in my life but in the short time that we were friends I learned so many things that I didn't know I was learning but now when I look back I'm like yo <laughs> bruh, I actually learned A, B, and C I learned patience yeah. I learned how to deal with certain types of people through the seed that this person planted maybe mm -hmm. a good seed or a bad seed but mm -hmm. through that I learned something you know and that friend for a reason, friend for a season is one of the biggest reasons why people's seeds are used for the worst or for the best, you know? Because everyone plants a seed in your life, but it's up to you to understand what that seed can do for you. Because you see like the reference you made of the, the, the guy of his teacher, mm -hmm. that seed was planted and it messed him up because mm -hmm. he believed it, that ah, bro, I ain't gonna be nothing. Yeah, and, and then, hear him speak now because he was 30 years old, and it was like now like i still sometimes think about what he said but it doesn't affect me as much but i know he said like, i know that i uh that some decisions that i i, I, I made mm -hmm. during my life it was because of that same thing that he said mm -hmm. so that's why for me i actually i feel i'd be like how is it possible for you to go for, like and come next to a kid and say something very harsh you know, just go like, you kid, you ain't nothing, or you, you're not worth it, or I ah, should do better, you should do another thing. He's a kid, you know? He has his whole life ahead, and you just go, go and say something that's gonna affect him. That's why for me, when I actually try to speak, the kid, a kid, and even a grown man, I always like try to be patient and be like, have empathy to be like, okay, this is what you're trying to do. Even if I don't like it that much, I always, I'm not gonna be the person like killing a dream or saying that you're not good enough to actually, uh, achieve that same dream because sometimes you might be even speaking about a, a area or field that you don't know but because you think you are an expert or you your 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 knowledge about that specific field you think that you know you're gonna start saying ah you're not good enough bro you don't know nothing about that field you just say that for saying mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. nah I think you know that's actually crazy that the fact that you brought up like how we should relate to children and everything. I feel like with mustard seed thinking and the, the the idea of a mustard seed, as much as it's impacting, we also have a responsibility with it. Because our responsibility is what seeds are we planting in people's lives? Mm -hmm. You see, what seeds are you planting in people's lives? <laughs> what are you telling these kids, bro? Yeah. Because you think that you're just talking, ah, bro, no, 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 no. Yeah, you, 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 you. No. but you're actually damaging this child. Yeah. Is damaging that person's perspective because people don't remember um, the good, but they always tend to remember. Nah, that. that's, that's that's what I think about humans. Uh, it's like yeah, 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 yeah. if a person does most of uh, most of the relationship you guys had was just doing good stuff, good things for you, and then one day you do a bad thing. Hey, mm -hmm. that guy, ah, red flag, red flag. But you forget everything, all the good that he did for you. It's that's true, man. Really you know, and people will not remember what you did to remember how you made them feel bro. Hey, I read that. Hey, hey read books. Follow proper pages on Instagram. Yeah, it. yeah definitely. Definitely. You know, but that's true. And like one of the best compliments I ever like received, you know, and um it was actually around this year, you know? Mm -hmm. People actually said like compare uh um, thank you for always bringing your good energy when we work together. Bro, like I'm telling you, like you can come here, you're pretty, but you know how to dress, you know how to do that. But like yeah. that thing that people said, like thank you for always bringing your good energy 
when I was like feeling down or when I was needing that same energy, like that good energy, like it made me feel like, whoa, um, I'm glad that I'm actually doing small things mm. that is actually helping people that are close mm. to me to feel better, like to actually like feel better. You know, because yeah. that's that's how I actually try to move through the world, bro. Like when I meet someone or is someone that I is a part of my circle, I always trying to be like bring them a good energy. And like not like oh I'm always trying to compete. No. We're here, we're chilling. Let me just share my energy, my good energy with you, you know, so you can actually do the same thing for me and we have like a great conversation, mm -hmm. a great connection and really enjoy our time together. But I think that's your mustard seed. Because if she can, well, I don't know if it's a lady, but like whoever it is. What do you mean? No, I'm just saying. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, I'm just saying. Nah, yeah. normally, <laughs> normally, and yeah, you said it was, it was more than one person. Yeah. So that's why I actually felt that, yeah, you know? Yeah. But, you know, women are more open about saying these things. Yeah, no. A man can actually feel it, but he's not going to say it. He's just going to give you, nah. my God, you my bro. Yeah, yeah. My bro, my bro. I appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like, hey, this guy, yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it was definitely a, um, a woman, yeah, yeah. But like, you see, that's the mustard seed you planted in her life. That you may not know how far that would take her, because you're doing you. Mm -hmm. You know, and I feel that's the responsibility we have. Even if the things we don't say, the energies we bring, the 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 advice we give, the time, because bruh, you don't not know what's the straw that's gonna break the camel's back mm -hmm. because there's a saying everyone's one bad day away from insanity mm. you know mm -hmm. are you gonna be the person to contribute to contribute or to them saying you know what or are you gonna be the person that's gonna be the one the voice of reason to bring them back to mm -hmm. the point of sensible thinking yeah. you see yeah. because so many times we think that we're just living life but we're all playing a role in someone else's life. Mm -hmm. In your life, you're the main character. Mm -hmm. But in, in, in your life, I am a character in your series, mm -hmm. in your life. Yeah, it's the same thing you as me. Like, like it's exactly true. true. Like each thing that you do in someone's life is a butterfly effect mm -hmm. that will lead them to something else. Yeah. And that's still a mustard seed thinking. Because if you review, if you understand it as this is my responsibility, as the one who's planting seeds in your life, I'll understand how to address you better. Mm -hmm. I understand how to to empathize with you better. I won't just live because today I'm having a bad day. I'm just gonna come and just put nonsense on everyone. You know? Yes, those days may happen. We humans. Like, no, no. That, that, yeah, that's something like you said. It happens. Yeah. You know? But like, if we're more conscious of mustard seeds, because there's so many seeds that were sown into my life that were for the good and for the bad also. Things that now that I have to unlearn because I internalized mm -hmm. as a seed back then, mm -hmm. you know, because like we're talking this this morning, um, just before we, we, we went on air, we we're just having a conversation and um, we we're speaking about having to always build yourself up and break yourself down for a certain season in your life, mm -hmm. you know, and all those things contribute, all those things are part of the seeds that are being sown, you know, when you understand where you are in your life you know that, okay, the seeds that I've been sown in my life are these, and this is what I need for this season. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I just feel like that's that's the craziest part of being a person. You always have to unlearn, always. to learn again. Always, build, always, always. Can you construct? You know? I don't think I was saying like high school, you know? Most of the people had the time during their childhood or teenage time, like, they w it wasn't their best time. Yeah. You know, you could say that. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it wasn't that bad. Like, it wasn't amazing. It was, like, it was normal, you know. There's some people that had, had worse than me. Yeah. Than me. yeah. <laughs> I can I can say that, you know. Yeah, no. When I actually stop and listen to what you went through, I can say like mine wasn't like it was actually okay. Yeah. Um, mine was calm. Well, what, what what do I mean with this? So when I went to university, I was like I was feeling like the guy, bro. You know, like when you are at a specific moment in your life, you think you know everything. And I was like 19 at the time, bro. Mm -hmm. Actually, if I go back, I, I felt that I knew everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I was doing everything, experiencing new things, meeting new people, always bringing a great energy. At the same time, you had that thing about being a kid, but not being a kid anymore because you're an adult now, you're like 19, you know? Mm -hmm. So, 
And now that I look back, I was like, hey, I didn't know anything at the time. So I'm a completely different person than I were before. That's the thing that you said. Two phases of your life, you built yourself and you break down. Mm-hmm. And you break, you, 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 bec- you need to break everything now and then build yourself again. That's what I'm at that phase right now, mm-hmm. you know? Um, because I'm definitely not the person that I was like at that age or like two years ago. I definitely want different things. I have different goals. And for actually to actually reach those same goals, I have to be a different, a better version and a different version than I was before. Not that the version that I was before was it wasn't bad, but can be better. Mm. You know, I feel also certain versions of ourselves are not adequate for the season mm-hmm. that we're in. Yeah, you see, because I feel like certain times that, like for instance, if let's say you're having a child. You can't be the version of you that they have kids mm-hmm. because you need to tap into a, a certain part of you to be able to father a child or to um, raise a child as a mother. Or, and is it, is an know, unknown territory. It's an unknown. And most of the time there's no manual to the new season that you're in. And I believe that that's where perceiving the season that you're in through spirituality is a very big thing, mm. you know, because that's how you're being able to tap into where you are and what you are about to go into you see that's why i believe in prayer prayer is something that i believe is such a strong guide to the new season that you're about to be in and just understanding that okay the me that i'm that i am right now is not the me that i'll be tomorrow but for me to be this me of tomorrow here is at least the steps i need or the tools i need to take me there you see and i also feel like at the end of the day once you understand your environment and you understand again the mustard seeds that we planted because I believe that there's a seed that's been planted in us for our next season. Mm-hmm. No, it's I, always a seed. I completely agree with you. I no. completely agree with you. Um, um, the conversation that we are having today, me being as open and being as vulnerable to actually mm. self-reflect about the person that I was before and the person I'm trying to be, you know, it takes a lot of courage and. Uh, because some people want to pretend that they know themselves just to just for other people, not for themselves, you know. And that's not something that I do not want to do. I want to be. I want. I really want to completely. You know. I don't know if you all. You, is, I don't know if you want to get to a point. You, you know yourself completely. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You know. I, I don't know that. But I'm trying to get there. I don't know if with the day the day that I get there, if you ask me that day, I might be like, oh, it might be five years from now, it might be ten years from now. I'm gonna tell you, yeah, bro, I know myself. Or maybe it might be when I'm old, you know. But I'm just trying to know myself better every day, and I know that those mustard seeds, like they were brought by the people that was were part of my life as my parents, friends that I don't talk anymore, uh, past relationships. Um, they all actually ended up teaching me something that is being is gonna is, is I'm using today to become the better version you know? exactly exactly and you know when it comes to knowing yourself I think you'll get to a point where I don't think you can ever fully know yourself mm-hmm. because you can only know another side of you if you're tested in that area you see because I feel like there's so many things that we are capable of doing that we don't know mm-hmm. you know and when you do it you're like oh i I never knew that i could actually exactly you know and that's also one thing that you said that's very true like not acting like you know it all about yourself like it's not about being perfect it's not about having it all figured out you know this is a learning situation and i feel like i'm also at that point of being vulnerable enough to say i am who i am or i am who i think i am but i want to know more about who what makes me unique. you know i want to have the deep and uncomfortable conversations with myself about my character about my flaws about what i want to achieve and ask myself am i doing it for me am i doing it for the version of myself that i present to people or am i doing it for the world's clap mm-hmm. you see yeah. and those are i was having those, those those conversations with myself last night and this morning and man it's the worst conversation to have you know now nah, i feel it you know, because you just feel like you're taking a piss on yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, no, no. I feel it completely, bro. I feel it completely. That's hard, bro. It's hard. Bro. Like, putting yourself in a situation that you self-reflecting is hard. 
bro, it's, it's not it's not calm. It's not easy. It's not easy. Bro. And th- that's like I told you before, like bro, I re- I really like I need to give you I need to applaud for you, you know? Yeah. That's that's not something that everybody can do. You know? Yeah. People don't allow themselves to actually do that. You just like it's better to actually pretend than actually go and deal with your problems or with your flaws and everything. And face yourself. And face yourself. It's, a, it's hard to face yourself. You know, it's really, really, really hard because you're gonna be like, okay, maybe I thought I was really good at this. Maybe I'm not that good. You know, this is what this thing is such a part of my life, but maybe I'm not that good at this. Okay now, but you doing that, that's you allow yourself to actually improve. Uncomfortable growth. Um, okay. No, I, I got that from this other YouTuber. Um, go follow her channel. Um, she's a African YouTuber. Uncomfortable Growth. That's, that's the name. Of, that's the name of her, her channel. Yeah, it's the name of her channel. I think her name is Gubiletu Nyantumba. Guys, go follow her channel. She's her really name cool. again. Gubiletu. Yo, if you're watching this, I'm sorry if I didn't say your name properly, but like, yeah. I'm gonna try my best. Gubiletu Nyantumba. Now I remember, yeah. like me. Um, my name is Campeyan. It's like it's a it's a it's not it's a different name. Yeah. Not a, a weird or it's a it's a different yeah. name. Yeah. You know? And even her name, I'm trying not to say it now because I might say it wrong and I do not want to do that because yeah. yeah. But she was actually Yeah, her calm. channel is it's, uh, I like the, the content of yeah. just the pure uncomfortable growth. But growth needs to be uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. You need to be in a zone of uncomfortable debates for you to grow. You know, mm-hmm. the thing that will kill you is is being in a place in your comfort zone. You know? And that's why I keep on thinking this mustard seed thinking is what's always going to allow you to grow because you ask yourself, okay, what are the seeds that I planted for my next season? Mm-hmm. What are the seeds that I planted that I need to filter out? You know? You sit and ask yourself, ah, okay, why do I feel so shy? Oh no, it's because ten years ago um I had gained weight and I was told that I was fat. Now it has built into something else where you change the way you dress, mm-hmm. you change how you appeal to people. But if you're actually having those uncomfortable debates and say, okay, cool. This is this is the this is the root. This is the root. And why do I feel like this? Do I need to change it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't like how my body looks. Oh, let me work out. Mm-hmm. And why don't I like it? Okay, there's two reasons. Because I don't like how I look in my clothes. I don't like how I feel and because it was a time when people insulted me about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, now you're at the roots. Now you have the problem and you give gave yourself a solution. Mm-hmm. Now that's that space between the problem and the solution, that's the journey that's hard. The journey is hard. You know? Always questioning yourself, always doubting yourself. Mm-hmm. But that's that same journey is the journey that most of the work like let's say like 80, I think I'm, I'm going to say 80% of the work is completely you and the other 20% is the people that are close to you. True. You know? True. The people that are close to you, they need to be there for you. Like, let's go. Let's mm. go. Let's go. Let's go. You can do this. They need to be so in They need to be like there. Like, so exactly. You know? You know what's crazy? Sorry to cut you. Mm-hmm. I just want to tell you guys this quick story. Um, I'm in the process of like um, getting my fitness back. Um, I've always been someone who's been into sports. I've always been the fittest person in my perspective. <laughs> the guy said, I've always been the fittest person. In my perspective. Guys, you don't always be the voice so of the guy. So, so well, the guy said, you know, so, yeah. like, I've, I've always been, I had the body, I used to work out, I used to play rugby, I used to be flexing. Yeah, I, was, I was a guy, I was a problem, you know? and. I think throughout the years, you let go of yourselves, COVID hits, you don't try to do anything, you're getting older, now you drive, you don't walk anymore, so hey, cardio is low, so that type of thing, and I gained a lot of weight, and I've been on a fitness journey, little by little, and my journey that I started wasn't just a fitness journey per se, because I've tried to get back into the gym. Mind you, I've been training for like 9, 10 years already, but I stopped for the past 3 years, 4 years, and boom! became a mess but then i've always tried to get back go to the gym you go three days four days boom you stop three days four days but not but, 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 but not but not anymore you know but not anymore but not anymore the way i got to change it was through different things i never thought would actually impact my training number one was the people around mm-hmm. you know 
like when we started hanging out more because you're more into fitness yeah yeah, yeah 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 i love and, that thing yeah you know, so i related to you because of okay I was, i'm into fitness but <laughs> <laughs> I'm into fitness with all my You see, it's in the air, guys. It's in the air. So, you know, so I'm like, yeah, I used to do this, so, you know. <laughs> I, I, know I know, I know, I know, I know. And the thing is, we used to be like, I'm ah, I was to be the trend guy. Oh, you know. Really? Hey, so, so I tried to start, I was like, hey, the guy, calm, no. calm, calm. So, calm. that was one thing. And then, because I was around a like minded person, even though I wasn't there yet. Number two, it was my mentality. Mm -hmm. My mentality was, hey, training is hard. And it's still hard, guys. But it became a thing of, I'm not training for a goal. I'm training for a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. That mentality yes. shit yes. happens. Yes. That's, that's the thing. Then my nutrition started getting better and better. But why was that? Because of the seeds that were planted. Mm -hmm. And if I was still alone in the same place I was, I wasn't going to be able to do it. But I needed compared to sold seeds of yo but you can do it nah bro eat better bro training's for a lifestyle yeah you used to do it but bro you can do it again like you know quick story yeah i'm being honest with storytelling vibes guys no but so but that's it you know um it's the same thing we mm -hmm. you said since the like the first episode we told each other like this is a pouring each other's cup yeah. i'm helping you with this fitness part you help me yeah. with other other things so yeah. Yeah. It's cool. yeah like a quick story you know um What's crazy is that, like I said, I was on the fitness journey and everything, and I'm, I'm getting myself better and every single day, you know? And I'm seeing the me that I had formerly when I was young, and I was like, oh, shucks. But I'm, I'm seeing a more matured version, of, and, and a version that understands what he's doing. But um, we recently started to, we upped our training. Mm -hmm. Thanks to this guy, he was gonna kill me in the gym the other day. He sent me a new workout plan, and I was like, yeah, guys. So cool. Um, no, uh, he it, it, it was like, hey, compare. Now we need more time to do this. I tell, I tell him, my guy, you can do this. Come on. And what did he do? Yeah, so started the workout plan and uh, we increased the cardio. Everyone hates cardio. He really, that increased it. So now I, was, I had to do a specific amount of cardio and it used to take me about an hour. So myself, I was like, bro. Hey, this training needs to be two and a half hours for me to do this because that's this is cardio and it's still living yeah. weights. Hey fam, it's gonna take some time. However, um, it was more of a thing of he was like, yo dog, you planted a seed just the day before and you're like, dog, you can do it. Bro. What you mean? You have the fitness level to do it. And I was like, ah, oh, cat fam. But you're like, bro, continue, you can do it. And I didn't know that that was entering my subconscious. It was. So I, I blocked it out. When he said it, I was like, can't. <laughs> I, I heard you. I was like, bro. I was like, bro, nah, there's no way. You can do that. Like, forget that. I was, I was actually, I was just saying like that. I was like, bro, you can do that. Yeah. It got into my subconscious without me knowing. That was the seed that you planted. The day later, the same cardio that mm -hmm. took me an hour, I did in 35 minutes. Yep. And... That's when you understand that. Mm -hmm. I just heard this guy screaming. Ah! I was like, yeah. The guy was like, hey, I did this in 35 minutes. I was like, for real? Yeah. Oh, my God. We just like, hey, yeah. hey, yeah. hey. Yeah. No, but it's true, bro. Like, ah, he just like, it's not like the, the exercise, it became easier. You, you became stronger. Yeah. You know, from since day one, you can see the difference, bro. Like, Pushing, putting the weight, even feeling the pain that you had in your wrist because of your uh, your past injury. No, mm. you don't get calmly. Calmly, without a problem. Without you know? a problem, bro. And that is because the seeds that were planted. Mm. Because those seeds were planted for the better. And that's what made, they make the task easier. They make the road easier, mm -hmm. but it made me stronger. Mm -hmm. And everything is in the mind. The mind gets stronger, the body follows suit. And that's literally what happened. And I want to thank you for that, bro, because now I know that, okay, it's not to say I'll rely on you to tell me that, yo, you can push, but I know that you showed me through telling me I can do it, that I can actually do it. Yeah. And I'm going to yeah. continue pushing, it, you know? It's not a thing of like actually saying thank you. That's, that's the thing, I, that's how I see uh, a mm -hmm. friendship, you know? Mm -hmm. What is a friendship if you're not going to be there to help the person? Mm -hmm. Bro. I found you. I found your friend and to help you, bro. It's not like it's just like we need to help each other. You need. That's the same thing I told you. Like since day one, 
you know, talking to build our projects to do this thing. I told you, bro, if you see me like lacking or doing something, you come at me and tell me. Straight up. Tell me, I'm not gonna have any problem with that. If this, if, if in the same moment you're gonna see me acting weird, calm. I'll go, I'll go back to my house, calm, and then be like, okay, I actually need to do this. Yeah. I need to do. I need to be better, mm -hmm. and I'll do it. But being a friend, you actually have to have this like these difficult conversations. conversations yeah. You have to. If you're not doing that, if you're always saying yes and saying ah calm, like always smiling for no reason, even if you, we, you know deep down that the person could do better, the person is wrong, bro, you're not my friend. Exactly. You're not my friend. Mm -hmm. True. Ah. True. And that's what it is. And guys, I just want to encourage you guys, get into these places where you identify the mustard seeds that are planted in your life. You identify the responsibility that you have in planting seeds into people's mm -hmm. lives also. And also just have the uncomfortable debates where you can have uncomfortable growth because that's where you're going to be able to see the real side of you and you can grow and take yourself further and further. And I'm just glad that we can have this conversation. Now, I just want you guys to also have this conversation yeah. wherever you are with yeah. yourself, with your friends. Yeah, and people next to you. Completely. Um, ah, this is a journey, bro. This yeah. is completely a journey. Um, Little by little, I, I really, I'm starting to understand that everything that you do in life, and it takes time. It takes time. You know, it takes time. You, you're going to go through it. You're going to have really bad days, really good days. Mm -hmm. But what makes mm -hmm. actually a difference is you trying to control your negative impulses. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So guys, this is me, Kampe, always fresh and clean. Oh, today I'm just, you know, yeah. some clean yeah. vibes, yeah. you know? Clean, 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 clean. But you guys know, thank you guys to to the people that join us on our third episode, okay? We're going to be here and be sharing our conversation. Yeah, guys, that's what's up. Prince and Mary, we're reflecting, of course, and we'll catch you next time. Control your negative impulses. Must seek thinking, responsibilities yeah. and duties. Have the uncomfortable debates. And Always. Always. We've been reflecting. Of course, man.